Okay, cool. So now we have our machine ready and we're going to log in. So we're going to use the user Jenkins that we created and we're going to give the password 1234 that we created. Okay, cool. So here we are. And now what we want to know is the IP of this machine. So we type IPA, hit enter, and then you're going to see the IP address right here. This is my IP address. So you are going to probably have another IP address like 192.168.something.something, but don't worry, just use that IP. So now that we have this IP address, we want to connect to this IP using SSH. But how do we do it? Easy, we go to Google and then we're going to look for Putty here. Putty is a client for SSH on Windows. So we just go here, we click here, and then uh, we should be using 64-bit as I told you before. So we're going to download this and that's pretty simple. We wait until the download finishes and then we're just going to go here. We're going to click on this. I, we're going to click next. I already had this installed so you should click on next but I'm going to click on repair and next 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 and this is going to do all the work. So cool. Once Putty is installed you can see that I already created a shortcut here but you can look for it on your application so you type Putty and there you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the IP address and we're going to create a connection. So okay, the first thing that we're going to do is that you are going to probably want to have the appearance to increase the font size. So you go here into Window, Appearance and click on Change. Now you can choose the size that you want, the font that you want. I'm going to choose the 12 size. I'm going to click OK. Then I'll be back to the session and I will type the IP address that is in here on the left. So that is 10.130 dot nine dot two five four cool so now I will give in safe sessions I will give it a name like Jenkins machine or whatever you want and then I will click on save cool so now I can just close it and I can open it again and as you can see here here is my connection then if I just want to load it I just click on this and I click on the load button and as you can see here it appears the IP and on appearance it appears our configuration. So once we are here we click on open and then we're gonna log in as the user Jenkins using 1234. Cool, so we are already logged in into this machine. So what did we do here? That's pretty simple. We connected to this machine in here from Putty using SSH. And why? You may be asking. And that's pretty simple. It's because managing things from Putty is actually pretty simple and it's even easier than doing it from the virtual box window. So we're going to keep this machine powered on so we're gonna minimize this and okay we are as you can see in the same machine but now we're connected through SSH which is pretty cool so now if you type IPA you are going to see the exact same IP address that you saw before so okay you already know how to connect to your machine using Putty so let's do it again you if you want to close it you just close it open up Putty after you are here, what you are going to do is that you are going to click on your Jenkins machine state, you are going to hit on load, then click open, log in as the user Jenkins, give it a password. Please remember that you need your machine needs to be powered on before doing this, because if it's not powered on, then you are going to have some errors.